Hi guys, this is Muhammad Ali. Today I am going to show you how to create a helical care. So guys, let's get started. So first of all, we will get some values out of a. Uh, we will get values for the helical gear out of a helical gear catalog. These will be our parameters which we will use in Creo. These are number of teeth, direction of helix, pitch dia, etc. etc. And uh, these are not all of the variables that we need. The rest of them we will calculate using these equations. We will use these equations. So, guys, let's get started. So, we will open Creo and create, we will create a new part. We will name it as Helical Care. And we will use the units of mm as we are creating a gear of uh, metric proportions. So after creating the part we will use tools to input the parameters input the parameters that we have uh, extracted from the gear catalog. So I have put the parameters in this form because Creo can't understand the parameters which are with spaces. We use underscores for this kind of thing. So we'll put number of teeth. I'll uh, read, copy and paste. Teeth and number of teeth will be in integer form and they will be 60 and direction that we don't need right now pitch diameter in the same con same form control V pitch diameter 90 and outside diameter control C control B diameter and transverse pressure angle This is our transverse pressure angle and helix angle. And the width. C. So the outside diameter is 93. Transverse pressure angle is 20 degrees. Helix. Uh, I think I have created an extra parameter. So I will delete it. And now the outside diameter is 93. Transverse pressure angle is 20 degrees. Helix angle is 20.5. 20.5. And the width is 12 mm. So our parameters are created. When we have created our parameters, we will put the rest of the parameters that we need by using relations. And I have put the relations similarly for Creo parametric to understand. I will maximize it. Copy all of the relations. Control C and I'll put all the relations here. I'll check them. There is an error. And what's the error saying? I'll, I'll pause it and 
check it so basically i forgot to put a bracket on the other side so after putting the bracket our relations are successfully verified and they are all correct so guys let's move to the next step now that we have put our relations all together we will go to the front view and we will create a cylinder put the circles center into the center and extrude for now guys don't worry about the dimensions just create any di uh, just create this cylinder with any dimensions any dimensions that you like and when our cylinder is created we will create a sketch on this cylinder i'll create sketch uh, opposite to the uh, part coordinate system here and how i will create a circle of arbitrary dimensions just random dimensions one i'll create three sketches like this so i have created one sketch this is the second one i'll create the dimensions like this and the third circle like this so these three sketches we have created so now that we have created these sketches we will name them so that it is easy for us to locate them after we have created uh, we will name the first one as pitch dia we will name the second one as base dia and we will name the third one as outside dia so after creating after naming them we will relate these circles and this cylinder with their respective with their respective dimensions so in order to do that we will first of all create this extrusion so it's, um, i'll i have basically created this dimension part and our dimensions are in front of us so for these dimensions we will use we will use the root diameter diameter check out the relations the root diameter is there and yes we want to add this dimension yes the dimension is added don't worry if the circle becomes too small like mine and after that for the width we will put input the width we want to add this relation yes so our width and our die is added after that we will input we will input for the pitch dial for the pitch dial similarly we will put pitch diameter the name of the dimension that we created earlier pitch diameter and for base base diameter this diameter 
similarly or outside dia outside diameter so let's see how our part looks so all of these dimensions are added so we will regenerate our part and these dimensions are added correctly uh, after this we will create a coordinate system for creating this coordinate system we will create it opposite to our part coordinate system uh, and we will use uh, the uh, this plane this uh, front uh, uh, this right plane and the top plane create uh, our dimension right plane top plane and the front or the front face of the cylinder and after creating this we will correct its orientation the x should be here so the x uh, yes now we put x axis wrong uh, and z z in in place of z there should be x Input, input that x in place of x there should be y and in place of z there should be x and now y I'll flip y and our dimensions are correct make, make sure that uh, the z axis is point z is pointing out of the cylinder and x and y are in the positive direction as I have done. Okay, after that our coordinate system has been created. So when the coordinate system is created, we will create our involute curve which will be used for creating our helical uh, helical gear helical gear teeth. So for this we will create the curve from equation. So we will uh, put this as the Cartesian and for coordinate system we will select the coordinate system that we have uh, newly created right now and for equations we will input equations that I have already put here. These are equations for the involute curve that will be used for our circle so for creating our teeth profile so I'll check the relations so the relations are correct and I'll click OK so Creo gives me a preview so after checking all of these things I'll click OK